Do you believe in predictions and prophecies? If something was predicted, would it really happen? Well, it wouldn't, if a normal guy was the one who predicted it, but in the case of the French astrologer Nostradamus, some of his predictions seem to have really happened. He prophesied many things in his book, less prophecies, but only some of them actually came true, like the rise of Adolf Hitler and the recent death of Queen Elizabeth II. In this video, we are going to learn about the five of his most popular predictions that actually happened. So make sure to watch it till the end. Before seeing those five predictions, let's first learn who Nostradamus is. Michel de Nostradame was a French astrologer born in 1503. He studied at the University of Avignon. But before completing his education there, the university was closed because of an outbreak of the plague and he was forced to leave it. He then worked as an apothecary for several years and also entered another university, hoping to earn a doctorate. But when the university found out about his work as an apothecary, they immediately expelled him since the university statutes forbid it. He got married in 1531 and had two children. But sadly, he lost all of them to another plague outbreak in 1534. He later got married again and had six children. Soon, he began working as an astrologer for wealthy patrons. He published his book Les Prophecies in 1555 and died in 1566 due to edema. After his death, many authors started writing legends about his life, so we may never know which ones are true and which ones are not. Les Prophecies can be called the Prophecies in English. It is a collection of poems or quatrains, united in ten sets of verses of 100 quatrains each, also called centuries. He got the attention of many people, both ordinary and royal, for his incredible work and ability to predict the future. Although he had the power to predict the future, he himself mentions several times in this book that he was not a prophet. He wrote in a manner that cannot be easily understood by the readers. Even a well-learned scholar would struggle to decipher the true meaning of his verses. For example, from the enslaved populace, songs, chants and demands while princes and lords are held captive in prisons. These will in the future by headless idiots be received as divine prayers. Now this verse could mean anything. We could apply it to any time period and any related event and it would probably fit. That's why careful reading and reaching must be done before coming to a conclusion. Even after doing all that and finally finding the right historical event that best fits the verse, it still may not have been the one that he had in his mind when he wrote the verse. Many scholars and other general public say that Nostradamus himself wrote all these verses with nothing specific in his mind, hoping they would apply to a certain historical event later and that he had no supernatural powers to predict the future. But that might not have been the case because many of his verses, which are said to have predicted many historical events, closely relate to them. I suggest you come to a conclusion only after watching this video till the end. The young lion will overcome the older one, on the field of combat in a single battle, he will pierce his eyes through a golden cage, two wounds made one, then he dies a cruel death. Scholars agree that this refers to the death of King Henry II of France. Henry II was a personal acquaintance of Nostradamus, who once addressed him in a letter as the most invincible Henry King of France. Let's see what really happened. In the summer of 1559, France's King Henry II lined up to joust Comte de Montgomery, a nobleman six years his junior on the fields of France. Both had lions on their shields. In their final pass, Montgomery's lance tilted up and splintered into two shards. One went through the king's visor and hit his eye, and the other lodged in his temple. Henry suffered for ten days before dying in his bed. 
Some scholars disagree that they both had lions on their shields, and that the field of battle that Nostradamus said probably shouldn't apply to a friendly jousting match that killed Henry II. The lost thing is discovered, hidden for many centuries. Pasteur will be celebrated almost as a godlike figure. This is when the moon completes her great cycle, but by other rumors he shall be dishonored. Louis Pasteur was a French chemist and microbiologist who was born in 1822. He is credited with discovering microbial decay. In other words, he found that the growth of microorganisms causes fermentation. That discovery also proved bacteria doesn't simply appear spontaneously, as previously thought. Instead, it grows from already living organisms in a process called biogenesis. He invented a process for removing bacteria, pasteurization, which is named after him. His early work also led to the creation of vaccines for rabies and anthrax. In 1995, the science historian Gerald L. Geisen ran a story in the New York Times illustrating that Pasteur gave a misleading account about his preparation of the anthrax vaccine. He mentioned that Pasteur incorporated a rival's findings to make his anthrax vaccine functional. That finding partly dishonored the great scientist, as Nostradamus predicted. Near the gates and within two cities there will be scourges the like of which was never seen, famine within plague, people put out by steel, crying to the great immortal god for relief. In early August 1945, the United States detonated two atomic bombs over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing between 129,000 and 226,000 people. Most of those who died were just civilians. The U.S. dropped those bombs to force Japan to surrender quickly and also as a show of U.S. military power. It remains the only use of nuclear weapons in armed conflict. Scholars agree that within two cities, and there will be scourges the like of which was never seen certainly refers to the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Famine within plague could potentially refer to the radiation sickness and the lasting disruption of war and people put out by steel may refer to the planes which dropped those bombs. Maybe Nostradamus was really talking about a literal plague affecting two cities, given the history of Nostradamus with plagues, but most people disagree. From the depths of the west of Europe, a young child will be born of poor people, he who by his tongue will seduce a great troop, his fame will increase towards the realm of the east. And beasts ferocious with hunger will cross the rivers, the greater part of the battlefield will be against Hister. Into a cage of iron will the great one be drawn, when the child of Germany observes nothing. We could find out who he was talking about only by reading those verses. On April 20th, 1889, Hitler was born to a poor couple in Western Europe. Through his over-the-top oratory skills, he motivated the Germans to follow him and led them to action in the years following World War I. His fame will increase towards the realm of the East could mean the Axis alliance with Japan in the East or could literally mean his fame spreading not only in the West but also in the East. While many believe Hister to be a typo, it could also be a loose reference to Hitler. It's worth noting that it's also an old name for the Danube River in Europe. Hitler was born just miles from that river in what was then Austria-Hungary, also known as the Danube Monarchy. Beasts ferocious with hunger will cross the rivers probably refers to the German army invading France and the greater battlefield refers to the war itself. In 2005, a British author named Mario Reading published the book Nostradamus, The Complete Prophecies for the Future, which contains his own interpretations of Nostradamus quatrains. I was amazed to learn that it not only correctly predicted Queen Elizabeth I's death, but also predicted that she would die in 2022. It is the only Nostradamus book on the market that deals exclusively with the French physician's future prophecies. 
it uses Mario's theory that the quatrains written by Nostradamus are numbers indexed to correlate with dates. In a video interview, Mario claimed, since the book came out, virtually every single quatrain has come nearly or completely true. Nostradamus Quatrain 1020 Seconds reads, because they disapproved of his divorce, a man who later they considered unworthy, the people will force out the king of the islands, a man will replace who never expected to be king. In his 2005 book, Mario wrote, this quatrain will come as no surprise to the British people and it has wide implications. The first is that Queen Elizabeth will die, circa 2022, at the age of around 96, five years short of her mother's term of life. Sadly, this prediction came true, after the Queen passed away at the age of 96 in the year 2022, just a few months ago. Mario then goes on to claim the 1020 seconds quatrain predicts that King Charles will abdicate because he is weary at the persistent attacks on both himself and his second wife because of resentments held against him by a certain proportion of the British population, following his divorce from Diana, Princess of Wales. However, the 2005 book concludes that it is Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex a man who never expected to be king who will become the next monarch, instead of his brother William, the new Prince of Wales. Sadly, Mario wasn't alive to see his interpretation of Nostradamus' prediction come true, as he died in January 2017. Mario's son believes that his father may have interpreted another Nostradamus prediction which would soon happen in 2023, Elon Musk's mission to send humans to Mars to colonize the Red Planet by 2050. Do you believe that Nostradamus correctly predicted all these events? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, tap the thumbs up icon and share this video. Hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell icon. I will see you again in a new video with a new topic to explain. Thanks for watching.